Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Madeline, if you're new here. I've been living in New York City for the past five months and this is gonna be another day in my life sort of deal. If you're not new here, you know how it usually goes. I vlog on my days off. And today is my first day off from work for the week. I actually want to do things. Um, I really want to go shopping. I'm going to go clothes shopping. I'm going to go home shopping. I'm going to do all of it, but I don't want to go grocery shopping. Um, I'm probably just going to push that off until last minute, to be honest, but I definitely want to go to Zara. I want to start looking at outfits for my birthday because I am turning 24 this month on the 20th and my mom's coming to the city and we're gonna have a nice dinner and I just wanna have like a really cute outfit for dinner. And then I also wanna start looking at some outfits for tour. And by tour, I mean Harry Styles Love on Tour. Um, last night was actually the first show of the entire tour in Vegas and my good friend Jess was able to go. She flew out a couple days ago and she FaceTimed me a little bit during the show oh my god like i woke up this morning and was truly feeling it like in my chest like i wish i got to go i'm so so excited for her though but we are seeing him together like three or four times i believe or at least we're gonna try to because he's going to be in new york quite a lot i'll probably see brianna too at some point we always find our way to each other we're probably gonna get like dinner or i'll see her tomorrow or something um but enough of my rambling uh, i want to go ahead and head out so see you in the city <laughs> little haul. Um, I got one thing from Zara and they are these amazing leather trousers. They fit so so well. They're just full length. They're not really like wide leg but they're not a skinny leg either. I don't know what you would call them but these are incredible. They were like $49 I think and I got a small so if you're interested in these they definitely run a little bit big and they're faux leather typically runs a little bit larger anyway so yeah these are fabulous i think i put a clip in of me wearing them in the dressing room then i went to target so rapid fire first thing i got was body wash this is the suave essentials cocoa butter and shea then i had to restock all my listerine this is the ultra clean then i picked up a little cookie to have with my tea these are the verona apricot raspberries these are really good because it's kind of like a um what is this called like a shortbread cookie but with a little bit of sweetness from the jam good for dipping and dunking then I had to get some Ziploc bags, had to get some honey for my coffee. Then I got some rice for my sushi rolls that I make at home. Then I had to get some trash bags, super riveting. And then I guess the two more interesting things that I got were some nail polishes. So I just restocked on my Essie gel top coat. The stuff is really good. And then I've been wanting to get a red nail polish for fall. I don't know, I think it's very chic, but it's just by Sinful Colors. It was really cheap. And this is the Go Go Girl shade. So I'm excited to wear that. Um, I actually am meeting Brianna for dinner. So I have to run. I gotta get ready in like 30 minutes. And I think I'm gonna wear those leather pants. So I'll try to show you guys what I come up with. I don't know what top I'm gonna wear. I know what shoes. I could either do sneakers or like a little heeled sandal. I just don't know about the top. Do I want to go casual or a little dressy? I don't know. I'll come up with it and I'll show you. guys, I have gone and had 
a full day without you. I've gone and gotten my hair done without informing you. She's back to Miss Barbie. Um, but it's the evening now and I'm going to start cooking dinner. But I just remembered that last time I went to Trader Joe's, I got a pomegranate and very random. I don't really eat pomegranates, but I wanted to get one just because. And I heard there's like a special way that you're supposed to open it. So I think I want to open it with you guys. It looks interesting. So I'm going to take a paper towel just in case. Also have a cutting board. And then I have my beautiful pomegranate. Feels a little mushy. I don't know if this is still going to be good, but we're going to find out. So sorry, don't want to show you the knife. So what I've heard you're supposed to do is cut around the top and then make incisions like all throughout it and then peel it back. So let's do that. I feel like this isn't going to be good anymore. This feels dangerous. That sound though. Okay. And then you like open it. Wow. Okay, well, disregard everything I just did. Well, don't disregard the cutting part, but it's not good anymore. Disregard, I'm gonna cook my dinner now. I don't know where I'm inserting this in um, a vlog, but I thought this would be fun. I haven't done an unboxing in a hot minute, but I didn't know this was coming today because I thought it was delayed, but I have a package from Crate and barrel. And this is the first installment of my plates and bowls, better plates and bowls than what I have. And I thought we would just open them together because I'm like really, really excited. Oh, by the way, this was so nice. Um, a designer at work actually gave this to me today. I thought it was very nice. And quick little story, um, she's so fabulous. The other day she came into work and she was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pull this piece off of the floor for a client. And then we were like, okay, yeah, whatever. She said, um, the client's Beyonce. Does that mean I indirectly work with Beyonce? Hey, isn't that something? But I thought this was so, so nice. And I was wearing my gold rings earlier. I pretty much only wear gold, but I have such a thin wrist too. Um, and bracelets never fit me, so I never ever wear them, but I like a cuff and I kind of like the look of like wearing it a little bit higher too. So that's my new, um, little addition to the jewelry collection. Anyway, can we get into the haul already? So, um, what I got this go round were salad and dessert plates, I think, because I wanted to see how the size fit in my cabinet. And then I also got some bowls, but they're not cereal bowls. They're kind of like the low pasta bowls. We're gonna see what they look like together. I'm excited. But from Crate and Barrel, and they're all a part of the same collection. So I have been going back and forth, back and forth about, do I want a color for my plates and bowls? Do I just wanna do white? So I ended up just doing white and as you can see it kind of has like a texture to it um yeah so these are just simple and white i'm gonna go ahead and i guess check them make sure they're not cracked or whatever but even though they're white i wanted to get kind of like funky shapes if that makes sense so the low bowl is really what to this collection. Ooh. Okay, so it is kind of like a bowl plate. I love the look of bowl plates. These are funky, right? I mean, I don't think, well, I was gonna say, I don't think I can eat a soup out of this. Maybe I can, or cereal. I would just have to be really careful. But um, yeah, next time I will be getting dinner plates and then actual cereal bowls that are deeper than this. But these are so pretty, so yay. That's my little Crate and Barrel haul. And 
Um, I'll show you two. My drinking glasses are also from there. So I got four of each of the plates and the bowls and then same for my drinking glasses. So this is the taller one. I just liked the shape. I was also going back and forth about shape and color for these, but um, yeah, there's the smaller version and they're just, they're very cute, very modern. All right, moving on to more packages. My room looks so messy right now. Apparently I've been doing a lot of shopping. So I actually got this off of Etsy, which I'm so excited about. Um, I got this to wear it on one of Harry Styles's. That was really Southern. Harry Styles's, Harry Styles shows. Uh, I'm going to quite a few shows with my good friend, Jess. And I really wanted this for the first show, which I don't even know when this is going up. I may have already gone. I'll insert a photo if I've already gone. But the first show that Jess and I are going to is very inspired by Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. I think I actually talked about this in an earlier vlog where we wanted to go and fully have the Confessions experience. So we're leaving immediately after work hopping on a train to Philadelphia. We're gonna be there for the show and then hop back on a train to come back to New York City that night. <sighs> yeah, we just wanted to be wild, I guess. So I got the famous bottle cap necklace from Confessions and it's the bottle cap necklace that Lola wears like every single day. It's so perfect. It may be a little costumey to you, but I'm also gonna wear this, I think, on Harry Ween, which is Harry's Halloween show in October. And I'm gonna do the whole like Lola look, I think. Now I am moving on to more jewelry. I placed an order from Uncommon James. Their store primarily based in Nashville, but it's Kristen Cavallari's brand. Um, I think there's also now like Dallas and Chicago go locations uh, but she just had her big Labor Day sale so she does jewelry she also does home and she does kids I believe and as of recent she's doing beauty I don't know but I got three things from the Labor Day sale I'm so excited I love her packaging it's really really very good so all of her jewelry comes in their own little dust bag and it's all such good quality. I don't think I own anything silver from her, but um, I just primarily wear gold anyway. So I got all gold pieces and none of mine have tar none of mine have tarnished. You just have to take really good care of them. So I got I think two earrings and one necklace. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is the necklace also dust bag with the little logo and then it comes also with a care card which is really nice so yeah it just talks about like storing it cleaning it don't spray perfume or hairspray on it this necklace is called the venetian and i thought this would be really pretty for like lower cut tops like a low v-neck top but good thing i'm wearing black i guess but um, i'm not gonna put it all the way on but it essentially looks this. I don't know. I thought it would have been pretty. It's kind of Western, but just imagine like this on my chest and not on top of a shirt. Really pretty in my opinion. Oh, I love these. So these are so pretty. These are the forever hoops. Hello. And um, it's kind of like, I'm not wearing it right now, but I have like a croissant ring that I wear on my pinky. This is like the exact match to that basically very classy these are very chanel to me for some reason i don't know um also i didn't mention prices but the necklace was originally 58 these were originally 58 and i don't think i paid more than 17 dollars for each of these pieces very very good sale definitely keep a watch on uncommon james if you want good quality jewelry and then these are the other pair i love these. I think I may try these on with you. So these are called the Da Vinci. Yeah, the Da Vinci's. So cool. But let me show you how they work. So they're interesting. It kind I, this is going to be so hard to show you. So this is essentially what the whole earring looks like. Really cool shape, but it comes apart like this. 
So when you stick the stud in, it kind of looks like it wraps around your ear. Ooh, I like those. Super pretty, very unique. I love these a lot. Now, moving on to Amazon. A lot of packages. Been ordering so much lately, but the apartment's coming together. I swear I say it in every single video, but it's finally getting to how I want it. So I ordered three things from Amazon. I think I know what these are. So um, a big theme as of recent has been trying to get my kitchen together, as you will see in this Amazon order. I realized that I didn't have small dishes, like dipping dishes for sauces and things. I showed you earlier in this little haul, but all of my dishes are white. Very funky, but they're plain Jane white the shape is just kind of funky so i thought for these i would do a little pop these are the little bowls so they're all marble so this is kind of like a gray and white one we then have a pinky red then we have a gorgeous blue pretty and then a really pretty sagey green so yeah, they're just gonna go in my cabinet and stack like that for my little dipping sauces. Ketchup will have never tasted so good. This is very intense. Um, I got a knife sharpener. Mmm, <laughs> this is very adult. Basically just got like one of the bars to sharpen my knives with. I only have two, but you can't cut with a dull knife. So I got one of these guys. And the last thing that I got, I'm personally very excited about. I got a white duvet cover, which pretty much mimics my comforter right now, but my mom actually helped me come to this realization. So it's really difficult to wash my comforter in like the washer that I have here, just because it's like so fluffy and big and it's definitely worn a lot throughout the years like there's a couple of stains on it like coffee stains and just general wear so the solution to that was to get a duvet cover and just put my current comforter inside of it so all i have to do when i need to wash it is just take the cover which is essentially a sheet um, and pop it in the washer it also comes with two pillow shams i think so my bedding is going to look exactly the same it's just going to be more functional for me so Wow, that was pretty long-winded. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with my purchases.